Hey everybody! So today I am here with my 2017 planner lineup video and it's a it's a little bit light because it is the end of the second week of 2018 but I did want to go ahead and do this video for you guys. Um, I also have um, another video that's kind of New Year's related-ish that's going to be a little bit late, but really it's, it can be done anytime, so it's okay. Um, but I haven't had a lot of time to film, so yeah, but I'm going to be going ahead and showing you guys all the planners that I'm going to be using this year, or that I plan to be using this year, and um, telling you a little bit about how I plan to use them. So this year there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven planners, which is a lot better than last year because I'm pretty sure last year I had like 11. But um, yeah, simplified it just a little bit. So the first planner that I'm going to be showing you for 2018 is the uh, Mambi Mini Fitness Planner. And um, I have decided to use the mini fitness planner instead of getting another um, large one just because I use the mini one for meal planning and um, then I was using the big one for tracking everything and I, it felt like too much to have both of them so I decided to just use the mini one and I'm going to be doing kind of like meal planning and tracking in one um, I because I realized I didn't need as much space as the big one was giving me so and this is um, just more compact and easier and look how cute it is it's just so much inspiration so much cuteness and so yeah, that is my fitness planner for this year. And I am going to be coming out with um, a new fitness stickers, but uh, I'll be explaining a little bit more probably in my next video about how my new releases and stuff for now are going to be working. So yeah. The next one I have to show you is another mini happy planner, and this is just a regular mini happy planner and um, I'm going to be using this one um, for pre-planning for my rewind spreads which I did the same thing last year worked out really well so I went ahead and I got another one for that purpose and oh, this planner is just so pretty it's so pretty oh my goodness look at all the gorgeous watercolor and florals and oh it is so gorgeous. That's my favorite. I think it's the same as the cup. Eh, very similar. So there's that one for pre-planning for my memory spreads specifically. So um, at the end of the day or throughout the day, I'll go ahead and jot down different things that I did so I can remember it to put it in my rewind spot. The next planner I have is my personal size planner. This is um, a Recollections personal sized uh, just like six ring binder and it is still decorated uh, how I had it um, decorated for fall of 2017. Um, I probably won't be changing it anytime soon because I honestly just don't have time. So uh, this uh, is going to be my like work planner um, <clears throat> and I'm going to be using my so much crafting inserts still so that is that one there's a lot of stuff in here there's not too much to say about how I'm going to be using it I mean I mean there is there's a lot to say there's a lot of things I track in here but um, this is going to be my work planner Okay, this next planner is a one that you guys have seen before as well as my Recollections one, just like that one. Uh, this is my Rewind Planner. This is a Recollections Spiral Bound um, planner. It's, you can see it's already got stuff in it because it's an 18 month planner, so I started it in 2017. Um, this has all of my 
rewind spreads for the last six months. So I'm going to continue on using this as my rewind planner. And I think I'm probably going to end up having to cut out the note section and then the folder in the little um, pocket back here because it's a getting chunky already. Like, and that only has six months in it. Can you imagine another year? Uh, that's going to get crazy. So we'll see. But I'm going to try and finish the year in this because how amazing would that be to have this gig? It's probably going to end up being like that thick but how amazing would that this be next so planner cool. is a classic happy planner and i am so in love with this cover the pineapples oh yes and this whole like tropical theme that's going on here it's it's my jam for sure look at, be a flamingo in a flock of pigeons look how pretty that is so this is going to be my like, uh, I don't know how to, kind of like a chore, chore tracking planner, um, but not just chores, like also, um, I don't know, just anything around the house that needs to be done, it'll go in here, like a home planner I guess. So I'm going to be using that for that. And this was actually originally an 18 month planner, but I took out six months of it to put in my sister's wedding planner. So hopefully this will chunk up a little bit so it doesn't feel so weird with the rings being all big. Okay, so the next thing I have to show you guys is my bullet journal. And I have never done bullet journaling before this year, but I decided to go ahead and try it out. So uh, I don't really know what brand this is. I didn't keep the sticker or anything and I don't know what it says. Oh, back here. Um, Chronicle Books, I guess, is the creator. I don't know. But um, it's just a typical dotted grid type um, bullet journal. But I got this at Barnes and Noble and when I got it I also got a Loistrum one and I kind of wish I had started in that one because the um, dots on these are very close together so it makes things a little bit difficult but I'm going to try and make it work. Um, so I'm just going to be tracking things in here and putting like lists in here, tracking things in here that don't necessarily need to be put in my planner or if I am putting it in my planner that I also want a like a monthly or a yearly overview um so and it's also going to be tracking like social media type things for me and um things like my like reading lists that I want or like different wish lists or um just like tracking all kinds of things so I'm not going to show you exactly what I've done because there is some personal information in here but you, if you guys would like a, like a plan with me type thing in my bullet journal go ahead and let me know because I would be happy to do that for you so it's so pretty isn't it oh, it's like gold and silver foil those okay, the last planner I have to show you guys is my Erin Condren and oh my god is this not so appropriate llamas <laughs> they're so pretty Okay, so in here I have this like um, monthly bill, um, like uh, dashboard type thing stuck in there, and I'll be using that. Um, I did get the um, neutral vertical. I I pref kind of prefer the colorful because it's more fun in my opinion but this is just really pretty and I wanted the neutral because I liked how the weeklies were set up um I don't think the colorful has these dots I think the colorful might still have the headers I'm not entirely sure but I did like that it didn't have any like pattern or anything and I can totally just cover up the flags and, and then I can use any kit I want 
and I won't have to worry about there being like random colored patterns here throwing me off so uh, yeah I got this and I got it with the rose gold coil and I'm so happy I think it looks so cute with this cover love it you can't you, it, the camera really doesn't do it justice it almost looks I mean at least in the viewfinder for me it pretty much almost looks silver or like coppery maybe but it's definitely like a really pretty rose gold in person anyway this is going to be my um main planner my like day-to-day -day planner all my appointments go in here all my um like to do's um like time like, when I need to like pay my bills and stuff like that everything is going to be going in here even some of the things that go in my other planners is going to be going in here because this is like gonna be my my main thing so I'll put like general things in here that maybe would go in other planners but then the other planners will have the more specific um I don't, I'm not explaining this very well. Mm. Uh, so anyway, this is just going to have everything and then the other planners will break it down a little bit more into specific um, categories. So yes, there's that. And I like how the sticker set, it came, ooh, coloring pages. I don't think the coloring pages were in the other one that I have. Maybe they were, I don't know, but I never really used them. Anyway, I like the stickers because... They're so pretty and like foily. Look, so pretty. Anyway, this is gonna be my main planner. So, oh, so many planners, you guys. So many. But as you can see, you know, all of them are gonna be used all the time. I guess, really, only. This one is really only for jotting down things that I already did, which is pretty simple. And then this, of course, is my rewind. I guess the other ones I do use on a daily basis, but I mean, I'm, I'm a little crazy, I guess. So that is my 2018 planner lineup. If you'd like any more, like, uh information on any of these, if you'd like me to go further in depth on how I use them and, um... Or anything like that go ahead and let me know but I'm so proud of myself that I knocked off three planners this year way to go <laughs> okay um, it makes me feel a little bit less crazy but not that much less crazy okay so uh, if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up I would really really appreciate it uh, subscribe to see more and I hope to see you in my next video bye guys